Hello everybody, I'm Swami here. Today we are going to see SAP ML Batch Management. Part 2. Part 1 already I have uploaded. Now I'm doing part 2. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to show you in SAP itself. I'm going to create a batch in transaction code MSE 1 n with production day and shelf life expiry date associated with it. First I'm going to create a material and then I'm going to create a purchase order and then I'm going to create a batch, batch number in MSE 1 n which is with the, with the assigned production date and shelf life expiry date. And then I'm going to do GR based on the purchase order and associate this batch number to that GR. And I'm going to do vendor invoice. Let's see in SAP. I'm going to create a material now. MM01. Mechanical engineering, raw material. Material type is raw material. Press enter. Press enter. So plant is double one double one. Storage location is double one double one. Press enter. Enter the description. Base unit of measure each. Each SMPS, press enter, enter the material group, enter purchasing group, triple zero, and select this batch management. This batch management in the purchasing tab. Batch management is in the purchasing tab. Press enter, enter. Now MRP type is ND, no MRP. I'm giving no MRP as a MRP type. Press enter, 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 enter valuation class, select valuation class, <clears throat> 3000, press enter, enter, enter plant delivery time, one day, save it. One five two seven is the material. Now I'm going to create a batch. Go to MSC one n. MSC one n. Press enter. Enter the material number. Enter the plant. Double one double one. Enter storage location. Double one double one. Press enter. Yes. Create. Click yes. Now see production date. I'm going to select the production date. Production date is 17th of December 2020. Enter shelf life expiry date. So expiry date will be associated with this batch. So for food, food, it will be three months from today's date. If it is food, it is three months from today's date. So these two dates are associated with this batch. 368. 368 is the batch which is associated with this production date and shelf life expiry date. Now I'm going to save this. <clears throat> See, 368. 368 is the batch number. Come out. I'm going to create a purchase order. Go to ME21 get <clears throat> Purchase order. Enter the vendor. This is the vendor. I'm going, I'm going to purchase this material from the vendor. 1527 SMPS from the from this vendor. 
enter purchase organization enter purchasing group header data i have completed the header data now item level data 1527 is the material the plan <clears throat> enter the net price enter the quantity 10 enter storage location if you want to select you can select it here it's a batch or you can select it done Goods receipt, and we go also. We go transaction code also. I'm selecting it here itself. Come back. Dash for plan. Select it here. Click continue. This is the batch I have created earlier in MSC one and three six eight. Press enter and save it. Check and save it. Control S is save or you can click on to this floppy disk icon for saving. See four five triple zero one seven two five five is the PO number. Is the PO number. Now come out. I'm going to do goods receipt slash in. Go and do goods receipt. M I G O. We go. You can say inbound delivery or inbound delivery or goods receipt. Anything you can say. Inbound delivery also you can say. Reserve, select the goods reserve here. Enter the PO number <coughs> five five. The PO number four five triple zero one seven two five five is the PO number. See batches. So this goods ten quantity is associated with this batch, and this batch has shelf life expiry date and production date associated with that. Now click on to item OK. Item OK. Post.
the F plot posted. Now come back. Let's see. Let's see inventory. Go to MMB. MMB transaction code where we check inventory. Stop overview. Delete onto this batch, 368 batch, and check the inventory. Click execute F8 or click execute button here. See, 10 numbers. 10 numbers being inverted with this batch 368. And this 368 go to MSC 3N display. Display batch 368 is the batch. See, and this 368 batch is associated with production date and shelf life expiry date. Vendor C, C vendor here, 1, 2, 1. See here. Migo has been happened. Right. Now let's do, let's complete this whole cycle. Go to MIRO, <clears throat> incoming invoice or vendor invoice or invoice verification, anything it takes. This means that vendor has supplied the material and given the billing, and we are going to post this billing into the system. Click on to the date. In most day, let's say today's day, messenger, enter the PO number 45000172555 is the PO number. Press enter. Click on to calculate tax. Enter baseline date. Today's date. Let me say today's date. Click on to basic data tab. Go to basic data tab. Enter this sum amount 12,100 rupees. 12,100. So simulate. Just click on to simulate. Balance should be zero. See, credit is 12,100, debit is 12,100, 12, balance should be zero. Now post it. Okay, done. So I, again, I'm giving you a recap. I have created a material with the batch and I have created a batch in MSC 1 and transaction code and created a purchase order, assigned the material with the batch, that batch which is associated with the production life, production date and shelf life expiry date and I have created goods reserve and invoice certification and the goods reserve which is having the batch associated with that. So that batch I have created an MSE 1 n So manually I have created. So that batch which is associated with production date and shelf life expiry date. So that is what I did. I did a full cycle purchase order creation, goods reserve, and invoice verification. If you want to know more about MM, just get in touch with learnw.in, L E A R N W.in. My number is 9940654379. Thank you.